We're back and we're back again with the exact same human life cycle drawing. Don't get irritated with me for providing the exact same image for multiple parts of our course. Today, we are zooming in and focusing on yet another part of the human life cycle. In the last lecture, we talked about mitosis, which is the process of nuclear division that leads to identical daughter cells, and it's how we grow. In this lecture, and I warned you, make sure you understand mitosis before we move forward. So this is your moment of checking yourself. <laughs> Do you understand mitosis? Because um, I'm going to count on you understanding it. So if you need to go back and review, go. Go shoo shoo review now. But if you stick with me here, then we're going to assume a, a relatively comfortable understanding of mitosis. And today, we get to talk about meiosis. This is a part of the life cycle that we haven't looked at yet. We've speculated on the fact that there's got to be a process to create gametes that have half the DNA. And in fact, we looked, look over here, we've got the word haploid. We already talked about haploid and diploid cells. And we looked at the fact that meiosis results in haploid cells that combine. Remember, haploid cells have just one copy of every chromosome and two haploid cells combine, that would be an egg and a sperm. And that forms the diploid cell, you all a zygote, that goes through mitosis to make the fantastic specimen you are. Meiosis has several purposes. Number one, we have to get rid of half the chromosomes. Okay, that's super important. The reduction of a diploid cell into a haploid cell, that's a critical component of, or a critical purpose of meiosis. But number two, we have, meiosis is about generating genetic diversity in a population. Meiosis is about sexual reproduction. And I'm going to argue that we're going to spend the rest of the course talking about sex. In fact, we have an entire lecture dedicated just to sexual reproduction and parasites. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that those two were connected. But meiosis provides the foundation for generating genetic diversity that we can then leverage in reproduction, sexual reproduction. All right, so let's look at an overview of meiosis, compare it to mitosis, and, and then dig into some of the specific details. <laughs> 